Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Today is Sunday, Sunday means DAX Sunday and every Sunday we bring something new in DAX and this video is a part of our last video where I discussed about the related DAX function. In this video I am going to talk about related table DAX function and which is going to be very important when we have to take advantage of relationships plus the row context in Power BI. Generally what happens whenever we are uh, referring the row context then relationships in Power BI model doesn't work but there are certain functions which can take advantage of that relationship. However, this uh, related and related table text function are more or like the VLOOKUP or the LOOKUP functions which are going to return the certain values and in my previous video I discussed uh, these related functions give you the single value itself however related table would give us a table a list of values and in this video we are going to see how it actually works so what are you waiting for let's head over to my laptop So as you can see on my screen over here I have uh, written down some of the information that is going to um, be very useful when you are referring to the related table tax function. I am not going to write over here for the related because I have already discussed in my previous video what is related x function, its syntax and its parameter as well and what what is the value that it's going to return. So basically it's going to return a, a scalar value. The functions related and related table are typically used in calculated columns to reference relevant records in other tables. Although they can be used in measures too. We can take advantage of related and related table text functions which can use the row context. When to use the related and related functions, you need to understand what each one returns. So as I mentioned earlier, the related DAX function would return a single value from another table and we talk about the related table, it's gonna return the related tables filtered so that it only includes the related rows. So one function is gonna return the single value and another function is going to return us a table. You should also remember over here that the relationship between tables in Power BI are normally of the type one to many. So if I'm gonna move over my mouse over my data model over here you will see on the fact table sales table over here is my fact table and over here all the relationships are in many. If I zoom it over a bit and I'm gonna show you that all these stars star means these have the relationships of the many side however if i'll see on my dimensional tables over here these above tables are my dimensional tables if i will zoom out a bit so product customer territories and even my date table all are my dimensional tables and they have the relationships as one on the one side as a part of best practice you should always ensure that in your model you have one to many relationships one side would be the dimensional side and many side would be your fact side the two related functions allow you to refer to columns in another connected table so when you think about it if you want to add a custom column in a table on the one side of a relationship that is added a new column in a lookup table then it is highly likely that there will be multiple rows on the many side of the relationship so you can see that if i talk about the product one product has a many number of rows in my sales table because there can be multiple transactions for that one particular product so when writing a formula in a calculated column on a lookup table you must use the related table because there are multiple values are coming on so whenever we are going to uh, use uh, the related table function that should be used in the dimensional tables where you have one value because one value is gonna fetch the multiple values and multiple values can only come in your table so related table always gonna give us a multiple values the related table dex function it evaluates a table expression in a context modified by the given filter its syntax is very simple it's just the related table and the table name where table name 
is the name of an existing table using standard x it cannot be an expression this is my model and in this model i have one table territories and another is hemisphere and there is a relationship between the territories table and hemisphere which is one to many again and between sales table and the territories table it's also one to many relationship now if i'll show you the data between these two table territory tables has the keys column then region country and group however if i'll talk about my hemisphere table it has only group and hemisphere there's no more values what we will try to do over here we will try to use the related function because related functions is gonna return us the single value and what we will try to find over here we'll try to find the hemisphere for all the groups over here because we have a hemisphere table in our data model and now we want to return the value and in this case we need a single value so if we need a single value what we can do we'll go over here we'll create a new column and this new column named like hemisphere and also if i'll just go once more back into my data model and i as i told you earlier because once we are gonna use the related function related function is always gonna use at the many side of the table over here in the territories table because here you will see this relationship between the territory and my hemisphere table and you will find over here that these two table these tables have a one to many relationship and many is from the territory side so always always keep this thing in your mind that whenever you have to use the related function related function should be on the many side of the relationship in your data model reason being why it should be there because many relationships or the many values in the many side of this table can only have a single value in the one side of the relationship for example over here you will see in my table i have many values for the north america is repeating over multiple times but it has only one value in my hemisphere table so that's why we can use over here related function in the comment section in my previous video one of you have asked me this question like at which side i should use the related or which side of the relationship i should go for the related table so this is your answer whenever you are trying to use related function it should be only used in the many side of the relationship and related table always at the one side of the relationship one side of the relationship can have many value corresponding to that and that can only be accommodate in a table table can have the multiple values so we can accommodate using the related table however inside of many side we have only one value related to the one side of the table over here this is my many side of the table because it's my territories and here i can see in the group column there are many values for the north america and corresponding to these values only there is a one value so we need to use over here the related function only we'll go over there we'll put related and then we have to just give our column name what we are gonna use over here and hit enter now you will see it has populated all the hemisphere for this particular column now we have seen how the related function is working over here the second question comes how the related table function is gonna work the related table text function and it should be always at the one side of the relationship and it has to calculate the many rows for example now you will see this product table product table has a one sided and the sales table has many sides and these are related using product key what i'm going to do i'm gonna create a calculated column in my product table and generally i don't recommend that you do this like creating a calculated column using the related table because you can do it in a measure as well but there may be a valid reason to do it in some cases for example what we are going to do over here i'm going in my product table in my product table i'm gonna create a calculated column which i'm gonna say for each of the product how many times that product has been repeated in my sales table i want to calculate the number of rows now we are at the one side of the relationship not the many side so remember this and if we are at the one side of the relationship we should always use only related table dex function that's the only function is going to work over here so related table now which table 
only the table name you have to mention over here and here our table is sales table and also you can see the text over here related table function returns the related tables filtered so that it only includes the related rows and we have already a relationship so these functions are built-in functions which can automatically detect the relationship and based on that they will give you the table but over here we don't need the table exactly what we need the we have to count the number of rows one product have been repeated how many times so for that we will use count rows function this would convert this table or basically this would just extract the number of times that rows has been repeated in that particular table and hit the enter button once you will hit enter button you see oh my god there's nothing nothing is appearing over here Why, how is that happening but don't worry there can be certain products which are available right now in the product table but there are no corresponding rows in the sales table so once I'm gonna go over here and I filter I see oh yeah there are rows they are blank and there are other rows as well so I'll just filter out the blanks in, in order to just to show you and over here you will notice okay 386 363 and there are so many other rows are over here so this is the functionality of the related table text function you do not need to use calculate with related table to force context transition and convert the rows context to a filter context related table will work on its own so that is the main difference between the related and related table dex functions there can be so many other cases where you can use it but that depends on the your requirements or what you are trying to achieve over there i hope you really like today's video and if you have any feedback any question or concern do not forget to leave your comments in the comment section and let us know whether this is gonna be helpful for you or not and if you have any more requests please do let us know we are working on your feedbacks we are working on all the videos that you have requested and if it's still not there then definitely it's gonna come in future and we will try our best to address your all the concerns all the requests meanwhile please stay tuned for more videos and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates